Good day, folks, and welcome back to the channel. APL Turkey Saga. Go ahead. Yeah, in about two miles, we'll be running across four strings. Try to look out for buoys. Did you copy that, APL Turkey on 17? With all these container ships backing up, it's not going to take them much to just ravage through all my gear. That freighter's headed right for our pot. Can you guys see him? I can't see my buoys anywhere. They're gone. I don't know what's back on. So it should be straight over here. This is un believable. This could take hours. Are you serious right now? You know how many pods I've ran over? Never one. The buoys are fire engine red. How the f did you do that? Today, we will show you incredible losses on the deadliest catch. Loss of life craft causes Coast Guard to board the saga. Business as usual is rudely interrupted when Jake discovers that Tom makes the rookie mistake of not checking the tanks. All I can do right now is my best. If I don't get that final percent of crab, a lot of people lose out. Hey, Tom. Man, why don't you head on up here? Hey! Tom. There's nobody that I trust more on a boat than you. You gotta check the tanks before you leave. I don't know how many times I've told you. I thought it was just down there. You cannot have these mistakes happen to you because that's a mistake we don't come back from. I got lucky. We got lucky. Scary. That would have killed us. That would have killed us. Though Jake chews him out for making them sit blind in the storm, he quickly refocuses on catching as many king crabs as possible. I'm not mad at Tom. I'm just, I'm scared I'm going to kill somebody every day. Every day. That's what it's like when you sit in this chair and take on that burden. And it happens just from a little thing like that. All right, first part coming up. Yes! Woo! We sat in a storm, blind, at complete random. And it's just, it is what it is. All the other guys are fishing bear die and I'm doing everything I can to make sure every last ounce of king crab is caught this year. The future of our king crab fishery is at stake here. After they haul in an impressive amount, trouble soon finds them again. Come on, baby, give me something good, give me something good. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Yeah! Money, money, money. Oh God, we got some crab, we got crab. Oh, look again! Oh yeah. Fishing Saga, Fishing Saga, this is Gunner Kelly, Channel 16, over. You got me here? Yeah, I got him. Jake gets nervous when the Coast Guard inspects the ship. He fears that they'll be compelled to return to port should the Coast Guard discover they only have one life raft on board. Part of what the Coast Guard does is board these vessels that are out here fishing. They're gonna come over, they're gonna look and go, doesn't have this, go to town. They'll take a look at our survival suits, they'll look at our life raft. I'm nervous because I spend a lot of time making sure everything's right and I don't want to have to go to town. Uh, I have a handful of questions for you. Uh, first of all, what species are you fishing today? Uh, red king crab. Now we've further done more. Seven crew, I have six crew members, one captain. What was your last port of call? King Cove. Last question. Who was your last Coast Guard boarding at sea and what Coast Guard cutter conducted that boarding? I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe I can't remember what the cutter was. I want to say 2018. Come up to about three to five knots of speed for our approach. Shop off 42. Jake waits anxiously as the Coast Guard checks every inch of his ship for compliance with the rules. Something tells me uh, we're getting boarded. I don't know if it were legal with one raft, but we're going to find out. And they could be sending us back to Dutch. It could be bad. Hey, you're good. You're good, man. My rafts are brand new, but now I'm down to one. They go by the book. There's no leeway. We'll see what they say about that. He comes clean and admits that they have only one 10 man life raft after the other was swept overboard a few days earlier. It's Officer Meta, Officer Hourgar. Are we here to make sure that you're in compliance with all applicable laws and regulations without reaching for a touch and you have any weapons on board? Uh, negative. Okay. Uh, have a 
team is sweeping the boat right now to make sure that it's safe for us to be on board. I'm gonna check your safety equipment. 100% honest, my, I lost my raft. I have 110 men that covers us all, because okay. you're gonna find it anyway. And I like to tell you before. And then I have one being packed today, I called that night, and it's gonna be shipped to Accutan as soon as it gets ready. And then I've ordered a brand new one. And this one is only a year old, so it doesn't even need to be serviced for another year. His honesty pays off when the Coast Guard spares them a major loss by allowing them to replace the raft at their next port of call. You got the one on the way, and what's your next port of call? Like what, like when? Accutan, I'm gonna, what I wanna do is if, if the fishing still goes good like this, I'm hoping to go through 180 pots yeah. in like 24 hours and then just go and offload. I should be legal, right? Still with one? Um, we'll probably make a report of that. We're all set, safety said. Safety's good? Pretty confident still good, yeah. Okay, I had to tell you. Yeehaw! I'm just glad that that's over. Cargo ship ruins Jake's pots. As Jake's crew chases after a mammoth $2.7 million black cod payday on their final day at sea, something unexpected happens. Yeah! <laughs> That's black car. It's about 600 pounds. Well, As they sail into the freeway of American shipping, Jake is conscious that the container ships could ravage his equipment while backing up. It feel turkey saga. Boy. And about two miles, it'll be running across four strings. Try to look out for buoys. Or don't. Did you copy that, APL Turkey on 17? Right here is the freeway for American shipping. With all these container ships backing up, it's not gonna take them much to just ravage through all my gear. We're just small little bees to them. Not ready to delay getting his product to the docks, Jake presses on and hopes for the best. This is a problem with fishing near the islands. I can't stop. I have to get this product to the dock quickly. When he spots a Turkish freighter about to go right through their gear, Jake frantically tries to radio them a warning. That freighter's headed right for our pot. APL Turkey. You're about to go right through our gear. Copy. He can't help but curse out loud when the freighter goes him and he watches his fire engine red buoys disappear. Damn it. Turkish damn freighter totally ghosted me right over my can you guys see him i can't see my buoys anywhere they're gone i don't know what the bags are they should be straight over here this is unbelievable this could take hours serious right now you know how many pods i've ran over never one the buoys are fire engine red how the did you do that? The freighter severed his long line. This is a problem with long line. You don't lose just one pot, you lose an entire string. If I don't get this product to the dock and delivered, I'm gonna lose everything. I have to, I have no other choice. Not ready to cut his losses, Jake's crew uses a 150 pound grapple to retrieve the black cod pots from 16,000 feet below. I don't know, maybe we should put that chain on there. It just doesn't seem like that's heavy enough. All right. We got the big hook out, and that's not very fun. All because of some told didn't want to pay attention at the wheel. But if I'm going to save this boat, my future, then I have to do it, and I have to do it now. So first, we'll try to get it at the top end and hope it hooks up. You guys ready? Yeah, right. Before we do this, just remember, fellas, uh... Starts getting sketchy, cut the lines. You don't need an order for that. If you feel unsafe and you got to cut, cut. All right, guys, let her rip. Oh, man. Please work. I can't lose this gear. 
check it, I might have something. Can I pull up? Go ahead. Try to pull it in. Go ahead, bring it in. You're good, just bring it in. I think I got something. Jake and the crew pray the Hail Mary works because they cannot afford to incur more losses. We got it, Jake! Pull it up, dude, pull it up! You're good! We got it, bro! We found the string! We got it! First try! First try, we got it, Dragon for it! Fire on Northwestern causes total loss of power. Helter Skelter breaks loose on the Northwestern when the ship suddenly loses power. As they get the generator going, a crew member makes a terrifying discovery. Jeepers, 7 800 in that thing. This is really fun. have a fire on board. Even worse, the fire engulfs the entire engine room. Stay calm! Stay calm! In pitch darkness, the crew members run around to get flashlights and fire extinguishers before the situation turns deadly. Two, three miles to the northwestern. You're eight. Is there a fire? Right Do you got it out? Get out of there! Give me a CO2. Pickle's the bottom of the stairs. We don't have any uh... fire. Rick, talk to me. The captain fears they may be stranded when he fails to get a response on the radio and hopes the crew can save the day and their lives. That guy didn't answer me on the radio. You okay? Mm -hmm. You okay? Do you, want to, do you want to shut that main down? Yes. <laughs> there's tank one, there's tank two. <coughs> yeah, but this guy melted, this, this guy melted. Ooh, that one's bad. That's a pump, that's a pump, they both fried. Okay, let's get some air. Come and get some air, it's not, Edgar. Close that door. Probably open the wheelhouse door too. Yeah. Well, I'll shut this one, it'll go out. Edgar Hansen, the engineer, is under pressure to bring the pumps online by negotiating through the burnt wires and bad connections. Right now, Edgar's trying to get that panel cleaned up so that we can utilize our four-cylinder engine and uh, isolate a couple of those breakers so that we can at least get power to our crap pumps. That's our priority right now. busted pipe causes catastrophic power failure. On the saga, low spirits about poor hauls and crushing debt are quickly forgotten when their ship is suddenly plunged into chaos. Hello, Mr. Jake. Hey, Sean. I was just checking in. How's it going, man? It's good, dude. Doing the dungeon thing. It looks pretty good. I'm happy so far. How you doing? Fishing dropped off a bit. That might even be an understatement. That's not good. The deal is, he gives me 500,000 pounds of black cod to catch on a sole basis that I guarantee him the money or else. The 
still just filling up with water. An old pipe burst and threatens to flood the engine room. Just when things couldn't possibly get worse, they do just that. Jake! Bill's filling up with water. Need to come check it out. What the? F get Mason. Get Mason now. Mac! Mac, take the help! Mason! As they hurriedly pump out of the water, the ship goes dark. The flooding has caused a catastrophic power failure. Start pumping! Start pumping the ship now! Roger! Oh, we just lost power. Now powerless to pump out the water they're taking on, they radio for help and hopes it arrives before the situation turns deadly. This is our Mac off the saga here. Hey Mac, go ahead. I think we got a little problem here. Uh, just lost power and we're still taking on water. A little emergency here. We're on our way. Okay, Roger on that. Thanks, man. All right, we'll be uh, we'll be waiting. As they wait, the crew wells a patch to the pipe, hoping to reduce the amount of waste deep water gushing into the engine room. Yeah, I just got word we've got power back on and the water situation is getting under control here. Roger that. Okay, we'll stand by here. Just uh, jog on side to get everything back to 100%. Yeah, Roger. Uh